I got a great feeling about this. Boo. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Griffin and David present Attack of the Podcast. I'm Griffin. Hey, I'm David. Uh, this is a podcast where we talk about Attack of the Clones, which is the second Phantom Menace movie. Um, the second and final Phantom Menace movie. As far as, yeah, as far as our research shows. Yeah, and it's a podcast where we're uh, obsessed with and investigate uh, passion projects where people are given complete creative freedom and how that's. I was out. just thinking about a good one, but now it's already, it's left me. It's okay, carry on, carry on. This is, this is our second mini series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is for Attack of the Podcast. Yeah. Um, and we have a very special guest with us today. Uh, he is a uh, comedian slash filmmaker slash writer slash actor slash blah 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 blah. blah. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Evans. Hello. Morgan Evans. Hey, Morgan. How's it going? Good. Is this podcast as long as the movie? Longer. How, how long is the <laughs> two and twenty? Two, two and two, twenty. Two, yeah. Two, two, Did you 20? watch? You had to watch it. I watched it last night. How yeah. was it? Um, I'd seen it before, and but had I, you seen it since it came out? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen like I've watched all six a few times. Okay. But mm, don't know what that means. It's very confusing. Yeah. You've watched all two Star Wars movies. Oh, yes. yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You've uh, watched all six movies that have ever been made. So it's Attack oh, yeah. of the Clones, right. Phantom Menace, The, the Judge, and Star Wars. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. No, I would say that it's not good. Yeah, okay. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've we've yeah. spent. This is our fifth. Episode. We're starting to come around to that opinion. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think we led with this opinion much more cleanly than we did last time. Last time we were like kind of – there was a we lot really of art substance. Like, yeah. This time we really yeah. started the, like not good. Yeah. There's a lot of just like terrible comedy. We're yeah, gonna well, we're going to talk about we're gonna talk It's about mostly this act. I think. Yeah. 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 So this is – we're looking at – this episode we're investigating the big third act set pieces right. on the planet Genosis. Yeah. Once they get to Genosis, everything becomes a th- series of theme park rides. Yeah, and yeah. we've talked – you know, we talked about the three major plots. We talked about the clones. Mm-hmm. We talked about uh, Obi-Wan – I mean uh, Anakin's angst. And yep. then we talked about the romances and then they all get back together. On Genosis. For, yeah, for a for, bunch right, of scenes a, that don't really have to do with any of those plots. A, a bunch yeah. of hijinks. Yeah, yes. a bunch of hijinks. <laughs> the movie drops all its important plot threads and ideas for a bunch of crazy mix em ups. And this takes place right after Anakin slaughters a bunch of children on like, Tatooine, yes. right? Essentially the right. same day. I, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's like two hours later. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe he took a nap. Yeah. Like yeah. He, he sleeps right. it off and he, then. Yeah. He meets the family he never knew he had. Uh huh. Right. They tell him that his mother is gone. Yeah. He finds her in a cave. She's been raped by aliens. <laughs> he murders the entire species. Then he takes his robot with him. Right. Gets back on a ship. Yeah. And goes to a sand Wait, Well, not the entire species. Well, there everyone are a few can left see. Over the entire tribe. Five. Let's say that tribe. Yeah. Um, why does he take C three PO? I forgot. What is there? Is there a reason that no, he takes C three PO? Just because it's the rule, like it's the rule of Jar Jar. Why do they take Jar Jar with no, them to for kids? No, Tatooine is there a <laughs> reason? Because it's it's literally yeah. no. Morgan's right. It's for kids. It's for kids. It's but for does kids. he say like, "Hey, three PO, come with me. I might need you to." Do a thing like does he have yeah. a re- no? no he's just, he's the the most kids. insane thing to kids me will like this. about That's that entire thing is that he murders all those children and then everyone like looks at Anakin. And they're like, he's still cool to work with us. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, he'd yeah, still yeah, be yeah, fine, yeah. you know. And and Padme falls deeper in love with him. Yeah, she's like a little shocked, yeah. but not For enough to not be in love with him. I don't think it's coincidental that before she finds out that he's capable of killing an entire tribe, she's like, we really shouldn't do this. And afterwards, she's like, I love you deeply and truly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and as you say, it's all it's all twenty four hour period, pretty much. Oh, it's all like between... a forty five minute period. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm condensing my timeline every time so, we. Yeah, it's like so, from Cleo from five to seven. Yeah, it's just like the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. That's the first Cleo from five to seven reference in this podcast, but it won't be the last. It won't be the last. Um, um, so yeah, okay. So they they have their slaughter. Then they get this transmission from Obi Wan, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Please retransmit this to the Jedi's at the Jedi Temple." At the Jedi Council and to Jocasta News, so she can put this in her fucking file. Yep. Um, he's like, uh, I, I've tracked Django. I followed him. Remember, Good job, buddy. Remember two hours ago? <laughs> I found him. <laughs> when I fought with him, and then I was like, I'm after him, and then you never saw me again? Right. I found him. He's on some planet called Geonosis, which is sort of a deserty kind of planet. It's kind of a Utah, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. very different from the other desert planet we've on spent. On the Senate floor, it's the one that's just covered in sand. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's ruled by like bugs. It's all people. bugs, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's all like bugs. big bugs. Because every other planet we've been to so far has like a real mix of species. I suppose so. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, and this, I mean, Tatooine has, it's yeah. got humans, but it's a motley crew of aliens. Yeah, water, yeah, it's like even Naboo, there's a dominant species. you've got, right, you've got the, it feels the subterranean water yeah. people, right. This yeah. is a very segregated it's planet. It's bugs. It's bugs. This is the bug planet. And then they have some beasts. But those yeah, are those much, are bigger bugs. Where right. did the beasts come from? Oh, they're, they're, even... pe- they're, they're pets, though. Like, those aren't people with rights. Like, the bugs are bug people. Yeah, bugs are bug people. They're, bug they're people. in charge. The yeah. bugs own the bugs. They the kind bugs of, own the bugs. They talk in this, like, click language. They yeah. just, like, click at each other. It's yeah, it's a bug's cool. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of cool, yeah. It's a bug's life. This, yeah. this section of the film is a bug's life. It really messed with my um, perception in, in terms of how big they all were. I was like, are they normal-sized yeah. bugs? And then you don't know oh, until, yeah. until... It takes a while. Until Obi-Wan shows up, and then you're like, oh, that... I have scale now. I can understand what's happening. Well, don't you remember that scene where where the the Genosian warrior is like swatting at something by his head, and then the camera does like a quick zoom in, and you see it's a little person flying around. <laughs> that would be crazy. There's if a little person the going buzz, whole buzz, buzz. set piece. Yeah, was like there. Everyone is tiny little specks. I mean, I just saw Ant Man last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, serious question: How inspired do you think Ant Man was by? Attack of the Clones. Because Attack of the Clones was the first movie to really feature insects well, in a big it, way. It opens with, it's like there's a John Williams score and yeah. the, the word Star Wars sort of zoom. <laughs> That's awesome. And then there's yeah. this big scroll that says like Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. It's yeah. really, it's almost shot for shot. Uh, really? Star Wars Episode 2. Attack. You saw it's this very, last night? Yeah. You went to a screening or you watched it at home? So I went to a screening. You went to at, a screening. And it, it started with Times Attack Square. of the Clones. Yeah, is that a screening or more of just like the film playing? At yeah. <laughs> Is, uh, can I, ask you some, I may have wandered into the wrong room and through a time tunnel. Can I ask you some more questions about attack about uh, Ant Man? Ant-Man? Yeah, sure. Yeah, was Anakin in a lot? Anakin's like the main character. Really, I would say. he's played by Hayden Christensen. Yeah, he, it's weird. He's not on the posters. Yeah, I think you just watched Attack of the Clones <laughs> again, David. Shit, I think you just watched Clones. Um, okay, okay. Bug Genosis. Planet. G- Genosis. Bug Planet. Yeah. It's where all the separatists are, are chilling, right? It's like this yeah. is where they're plotting. But this mysterious Count Dooku. We've got Count Dooku. Here's a new plot thread. He's apparently an ex-Jedi. Yeah. Right. By the way. That's a choice? We're allowed to do that? He studied n- under Yoda. Yeah. He studied yeah. under Yoda. This re- is how much discussion of there is of Count Dooku before he shows up. There's like maybe a couple Very lines. Little. I feel like they call him the mysterious Count Dooku multiple times. Oh, yeah. 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 He's just mysterious. That's all we know about him. Right. And he is in the opening scroll. Yeah. Right. They say mm-hmm. like he's broken off these planets. The right. Mysterious Count Dooku. Yeah. Right. By the way, right. if you're selling a screenplay and you open it up. And the first thing that <laughs> happens yeah. is a title <laughs> that takes up three pages of backstory that's not in the film. Yeah. I don't think you could get it made unless you were George Lucas. That's the whole yeah, fucking point of this podcast. Yeah. It's, it's things where people could do whatever the fuck they want. We never talked. Did he sell it? Did, is it the same as Phantom Menace where he like pre-sold the merchandise rights and that's how he funded it? Was it the same deal? Uh, I think this might have. Was I, Fox I, I don't involved know if there, there was. Time. No, no, no. He definitely self-financed it. I mm-hmm. don't know if there was as rich a toy deal in advance. Like, mm-hmm. Phantom Menace was specifically like for that movie. Yeah, yes, yeah. that might have been money left over, but he, it was it was self financed. Fox just, had nothing just, to do. With it. They were just distributing. It, we got to okay. talk about. So it. Count Dooku, the, he's uh, talked about in the crawl. There's the scene where Jocasta new finger blasts him, but other than that, <laughs> there's not. He counts not... him finger blasting her. No, she she finger blasts him. Okay, fine. Yeah. yeah, they cut that in in the middle of the movie. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, yeah, where she just finger blasts his penis hole. Are you talking about finger blast? Is that when the lightning? Is that when you use the force and there's lightning? Is that finger blasting? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. Oh, great. Yeah, she finger blasts into his penis hole. She shoots <laughs> lightning up his pee hole. Um, the, uh, <laughs> Griffin, please help us. <laughs> you, he's like, please, I'm here. I'm on Geonosis. And then you see Obi-Wan is, he's right. caught in some sort of lightning cage. The lamest lightning like he's in a lightning what, yeah. like torture it's like there's yeah. like sort of blue blur around his yeah. arms and he's kind of like oh he's of, floating yeah he's floating and he's sort of slumped forward it's it doesn't the, look it's the CGI carbonite yeah, yeah. I don't like, know what oh, that's referencing either yeah, but I don't, yeah. It, yeah, all yeah, the, yeah you're yeah. using a lot of very strange terms it's weird word episode. I don't know Car- carbon I know yeah. is, are you saying this is like an environmental movie like, in, about, like a like pencil carbon like footprint like a pencil <laughs> yeah exactly yeah you're saying he's caught in a pencil yeah sure yes Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah, but this is the thing. He doesn't even really seem stressed out, Obi-Wan. He's kind of just like, mm, you know, and Dooku, like, chats with him. When Dooku is, like... This is the first appearance of... First time he's Dooku. appeared on screen. And Dooku cannot Played even... by Christopher Lee. The great Christopher Lee. R.I.P. The Sorry, great, yeah. late Christopher Lee. The mm-hmm. late, great Christopher Lee. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely his best role. Yeah, this Probably. is... Probably, yeah. 
I think it might be his best role of his latter day renaissance, where he like just started popping up. So we're talking about Saruman. I don't. I think eh, I don't know. He's probably I don't like Lord of the Rings. I don't at really all. love the Lord of the Rings movies. He's like, pretty yeah. fun in them. Uh, I think he's really good as uh, Doctor Wonka in, 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 in Will, Charlie in, and the Chocolate that, Factory. Yeah. That is such a strange like digression in the film. It's like, my favorite digression. But he is pretty fun. That that right. That's the fifth movie ever made. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. The remake. Um, of a movie that didn't exist. I just think it's just, it's sort of, it's two hours of no one knowing what they're doing in this movie and yeah. feel like really looking like they're lost acting against green screens. And then he just like walks in, he gets this dialogue that's just as bad, but he's like, it's just putty in his hands and his mouth. Putty uh, in his mouth. My big takeaway, like rewatching uh, this time, was that uh, a, a lot of these set pieces, which we'll talk about very, very shortly. Um, are clearly like Hayden Christensen alone on a green screen stage, <laughs> right. and Lucas just being like, "No, Hayden. Um, so there's a, a droid arm, and it's coming at you." And he's like, "I don't know where to look." <laughs> like, it feels like they were so poorly directed that they don't like because if you're doing there, especially nowadays, there are a lot of scenes where it's like one actor alone on a green screen reacting to nothing. Yeah, but they like give the actors like. Sight lines. Yeah, things to play they with. Put an actor they put a in ping there. pong ball on a stick. Right. Or they yeah. like build a robotic arm that's green so that they can replace it with a robotic arm that looks the way they want it to. Like whatever they do. And this it just seems like George going like, oh, okay, so now there are a lot of bullets flying at you. And it's like, from what direction? I well, don't this know. This is the other thing. Jedi powers are so, you know, yeah. they, they just kind of wave their lightsaber around yeah. and they deflect all the laser beams. Anyway. Like, you know, it's all cartoon. But it all just looks like they're, like, jumping and dodging, like, at random moments. Like, yeah. it, there's no correlation. And just drawn in around them. And he did the animation afterwards, but it's like he was like, well, what she's doing doesn't really sync up, but I had already pre <laughs> <laughs> the time. Like, like, he had in his head how he wanted to look. They acted a different way to a different timing because he didn't give them good guidelines. And then he just animated it the way he wanted to. Because he hates people. Because he hates human beings. Because uh, he he's does. a bug person. He's a bug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Genosians, that's George Lucas talking about himself. But my takeaway was, fucking Christopher Lee, like, uh, at this point, an 81-year-old man. Very old. Is yeah. he that old? He's he just 70s? died, and he died in his 90s. All right, fair enough. So this film was 13 years ago. All right, sure. So late 70s, early 80s, somewhere around yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, w- he was over 90 when he died. So he's, yeah, he's like <laughs> grandpa age, right? And he's, like, playing off this green screen like a fucking boss. Yeah, like, his so reaction good. shots are unbelievable. And when he's up in that little, like, uh, his little balcony, like, viewing vagina box. Yeah, uh, yeah, watching yeah. The, the monster gladiator. Like a Morton Joe. Yeah, <laughs> like a Morton Joe. Oh, that's the sixth movie. That's the sixth oh, movie. We gotta talk yeah. about that movie oh, sometime. I thought, oh, yeah. What about The Ring, though? I don't know what you're talking about. The, like the ring that Anakin gives to yes. Padme at the end of the movie when they no, get married? No, the ring that they fight in, the fighting ring. The fighting ring, and yeah. then there's also the wedding ring. It's thematic. The rings are have a wedding recurring ring? symbol at the end of the... Yeah, she puts a ring on his robot hand, and he puts a ring on her <laughs> non-robot hand. Yeah. How do we know yeah. it's not a robot hand, though? How do we know her hand's not a robot God, if you only got to make the third movie. Can you imagine where <laughs> Big it would have gone? She's got a robot hand, She's too. got a robot hand, too. There's a nice foreshadowing, too, when they're on the droid factory line. And yeah, the, and, and his, yeah. his arm gets, like, yeah, stapled, basically, by a... I guess a droid construction machine. My favorite line happens in the droid assembly line. Which is? Um, C-3PO walks in and he goes, machines making machines. <laughs> I, like, now I've seen everything, you know? Like, you have it. They make machines make machines now. <laughs> it's true. You know, like it's, that's, true. it's not really science fiction. Yeah, that happened like as soon as Ford came around. You, <laughs> like, have, to, you have to remember, this was a long time ago. It's true. In a galaxy far, far This away. movie was a yeah. long time uh, ago. My <laughs> favorite line is when C3PO just says, I'm so confused. Uh, yeah. yeah, when he's got his head on a, a uh, right. things. Well, what about when his head's being dragged and he goes, Oh, what a drag. drag. Yeah, I wrote that I down. I, I, that. I didn't want to forget it at all. <laughs> Guys, there is uh, so much. We will get much... to the bizarre inclusion of, yeah, that like. So much comedy. So much comedy in this movie. I honestly think it's for kids. Like, I think yeah, there's so kids. much heavy. That's true. Talk about shit. Like, I. I mean, like, I'm Phantom a, Menace has it like all the way through. Jar Jar Jar. You know, like, yeah. Whereas this has not had it. So yeah, let's give right. them a concentrated. Up dose. until this point, the film has been very mature. Ugh, well, like in so the mature. in the A. O. Scott review of it, he was saying that you get this distinct feeling that like. Will this be on the test? <laughs> you know, like at, the, like at the beginning of the movie, it's like, well, the moon of Naboo. And you're like, what the fuck does that like? Is that important? Like you guys have been talking for 15 minutes about something and and I have no idea what's going on. 
And then so I think you need C-3PO being like, I'm so confused to be like, oh, okay, someone right. gets You're it. Saying, someone, relate to this robot. someone gets it by not getting it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> someone else doesn't understand what's happening. Well, I mean, at this point, Dooku ends up being, I would say, the dominant villain of the film. Like, by the end sure. of the movie, he's yeah. the number one villain. Of course. Right. Is there another villain? Well, he's building the Death Star. Yeah, well, I, I mean, Django. It's that red, uh, shiny I laser the thing that comes weapon. out of his compact. Well, That's that, an interesting nickname you gave it. Yeah, it's a great name. I, I, I'd call it a killer ship. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would call it, having only seen the blueprints Morgan. Right, um, right. Well, what's interesting to me is that I think it's implied that the bug people designed the the weapon, right? That's like, what they do. Yeah. Yeah, the, that's kind of weird. Bugs? They're real smart. Yeah, what, like why did the bug people get diverted into building like robots and uh, I don't ultimate know, they weapons? They build ant hills. They're good at building stuff. I'm still confused about how there's ti- but, the tiny bug people are smart, but the big bugs don't speak or or anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, cuz po- Poggle the Lesser talks. Poggle the Lesser. But the other ones just go like Yeah, they go <laughs> Yeah, they don't even make like syllables. Yeah, one is like a just like a normal praying mantis that's right. large. Right. right. And, the and other, with almost like a beard, like he has yeah, sort of yeah. human, uh, humanoid yeah. One features. of them has like a mustache. Yeah, it's all a little Fu Manchu, I guess. I never really thought about this. Because this yeah. movie is way less racist than The Phantom Menace, but that's not like an achievement. Yeah, and you know what? Let's take a, let's take a, <laughs> let's, no, but let's take a break to commend Georgie Porgy. Yeah, yeah. He definitely sure. like pulled back. He, he throttled toned it back. down a yeah, lot. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I mean, I dig the romance aspect of it. That, oh, it, that's oh, what been carries last me week's through. Episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's the Degrassi of the... <laughs> <laughs> Interesting okay, angle. Like, like the first one is a nice origin story about kids. Yeah. It's like a right. kids movie, and then yeah. you got Degrassi High, and that's this. That's you know. So Anakin do, yeah, and do you Man. think teens the, fumbling? Yeah, in exactly, romance. Yeah. Do you think the third one would have been like Last Tango and Naboo? Do you, you mean if they made a third going? one? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. like if they were able to. Do you think that's yeah. what it would have been? Hypothetic. Um, I would think it'd be more like first... terms of endearment. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tragedy. Like, well, I mean, they cut forward ten years. So let's say they're not going to cut true. forward like forty years. You're right. And That's Anakin totally true. Old, Recast right. dying again. And yeah. also third, but keep Natalie Portman somehow, just you know, and, all the way through. And also third film, you'd be you'd be setting up, you'd be closing out. It's a trilogy. You only make three films. Three is enough. three is the perfect number. Yeah. It's a magic. Number. And there's a story they're building too. You know, there's some yeah. sort of arc to all of this. Oh, I don't know what it is. Right, but, but uh, you assume in a third film he would have made it all clear. Like hindsight's twenty twenty. Absolutely, you would have seen. Definitely would have wrapped everything up really satisfyingly everything up. with no trouble at all. Yeah. Um, we would have understand. We'd understand, understand why they spent. We would have understood why they spent so much time on Booba Fat. You know, mm-hmm. like things like that. All these weird little like side Tangents. tracks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that don't God. go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we get back to the main plot? Okay, so Obi Wan is in the yeah, is, right, right, right in right. the Force thing, and Dooku, who like Le- up to, I, I just talk about Mister X, right? Like yeah. your thing of the test. Sifo Dias has been mentioned so much. Like, sure. If you watch this movie, you go, Sifo Dias is the villain. Right. Like they said he's dead. It turns out he's I not really dead. I still don't know who that we is. We don't know. No one yeah. knows the who film makes Dias no is. effort to explain what they're talking about. But and does, also, they give him the most like confusing name where you're like, Sifo Dias. Is that yeah. his name, Sifo But he's like Dias the Kaiser Soze. It's I like, thought sure. it was right. like a part they needed. <laughs> they need us. <laughs> uh, we need a Sifo Dias for the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, you're right. They keep talking about this guy who never shows up. Right. Yeah. So Dooku is like, well, they talked about him a few times, but in very vague terms, it's like, he used to be a Jedi. Now he's the Count. Now he's doing good stuff. Right. Which just, I thought it was like a lifelong commitment. I thought it's like, you know, once you give your life to the church, then you're you're like in it for good. Apparently you can just retire if you get a better job offer. Well, (laughs) they recruit you when you're a baby. They do. They raise you. They tell you you can't fuck. That's true. Mm-hmm. And then if Dooku, you're like 65, you can find Dooku a way fucks. to fuck, let's be oh, honest. Oh, Dooku fucks. Dooku fucks, Dooku fucks. Yeah. yeah. But that's, um, did they kick him out? Did he retire? Did he find a hot piece he wanted to jump on? Do you think he fucks bug on? people? Is that why he's there? Possibly. Well, he definitely fucked Jocasta Nick, because we know yeah, that. we know that. Yeah. We know that. We but know now, that for 100% certainty. But now he's on a planet with bug people who all seem to be male. Mm-hmm. And, like, let's not... <laughs> not okay. to stereotype, but none of, the, none of these bug people seem to identify as female. True. But wait, but beyond that point, he didn't really get it. Well, he did kind of get a new job. But he's like the leader of all this. Yeah. He's like the separatist king. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's on a planet with bug people in an arena made out of vaginas. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, made out of openings. Yeah. And then there's the bug people. There's the 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 uh, trade fetter. What are they? You know, the Nemoidians. Nemoidians. They're yeah. still around. Yeah. They're there's, hanging out with him a lot. They're like close like buddies. There's like a green robot guy who like. Tor- Watt Tambor. Yeah, who has like he's brother like, of I Jeffrey am. Tambor. <laughs> <laughs> and there's an, there, there's like he's like unified many people, right? This yeah. is the idea, right? And they're they're looking at this killer ship. 
they're looking and they want to get this. What did you call it? This is the most killer dense show. shit I've ever heard. I'm like, I, it's like, the like, densest movie of all. Yeah, but like even we having seen it, a talk bunch about of times, this movie so in such detail, it's ridiculous. I mean, the I've film seen it. barely tells us. Any you watched it last things. night. Yeah, I've you seen it a bunch hours. of times, yeah. but like I would still never know to call them Nimodians. Like, is that oh. something you Google? I mean, we've like, been no, we've been yeah, doing this for months now. Yeah, that's the thing. And even every week, we have to like correct what we said the last week because it turns out we already got things wrong. Oh yeah, it's so hard to keep it straight. Right. We will watch it's like the Scientology. Film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tons of new verbs and nouns and stuff you have to know. <laughs> Morgan's getting really into Scientology for our <laughs> listeners at home. Uh, Morgan, move to L.A. And Morgan, just... Morgan's moving to L.A. He thinks he's into Scientology at a safe distance. He thinks he's just interested. They call me every day. Yeah. You're yeah. about to get totally absorbed by this. This podcast is going to be the last recording of you as a freaking Yeah, man. they're going to they're gonna like sue us and make us scrub all of Look, this. Look, guys, yeah. all I'm saying is that Scientology isn't that bad i mean it's it's, it's just <laughs> basically it's just it's basically terrible. like uh yeah. you know uh just uh feeling good about yourself and then everything works out okay yeah. right and then all the time Mor- morgan your girlfriend is an actress uh-huh. and uh your girlfriend robin and i were on the same shoot together like two months ago mm-hmm. and we talked about you the entire time because both of us were concerned that you were going to get lost to scientology <laughs> We were like, do we have a responsibility to stop this from happening? Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up Scientology. This is a huge tangent, but I did take five hours of dietetic yes, exactly. classes for yes. fun. I wa- because you were like, I'm just interested. I well, just want to look going, into- I was seeing Going Clear with Neil Casey, and right. I walked out, and I was like, am I the only one who came out of that going like this? I want to do this? And he was like, yeah. yeah you, you, might, you, you are the, the only one. one. You're yeah, the only yeah, one yeah, who yeah. like, this sounds I good. I think Tom Cruise came out of that being like, I don't know if this yeah. is a good Tom idea. Tom Cruise is now <laughs> allegedly <laughs> leaving Supposedly Scientology leaving because of the effect of going clear. And you saw the movie and we're like, I got to look into this I heard it was over stuff. Surrey. I'll admit, yeah, I heard yeah. it was over Surrey. Yeah. I'll admit, I am the person who saw Super Size Me and like left that thinking like, yeah, McDonald's, I could really like McDonald's right now eat some good. McDonald's. It's so good, but that's yeah. a different. McDonald's is objectively the but best like, food. Yeah. In that movie, you like he eats. Remember, he eats the Big Mac yeah. the, the, or the Happy Meal or whatever, and then he like throws up outside of the car. Made me hungry. Yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. Mm, I'd yeah, eat that those throw fries. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel this way about like watching this and wanting to make a movie still. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a great argument against never make a movie again. Movie shouldn't exist. <laughs> yeah. All right, wait a second. Okay, what, so I want to talk about yeah. this scene where Obi Wan is floating because Dooku yeah. comes yeah. out, and I feel like after December, after all this misinformation, yeah. he's like, "Here's who I am. Here's what's going on with me." He doesn't lie, but he acts like he's on. Obi Wan's side. He's like, "This is terrible. I had no idea." He does. We have to fix this immediately. But he also is like, uh, "Sifo-Dyas is upon." I'm under the control of a Sith Lord called Somebody Darth Sidious. Is a dead pawn. Yeah, 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 we end yeah. up burning him. This is what I'm. He doesn't lie. Yeah, he's yeah. just like yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what's actually going but on. But he acts like he's a buddy. He tells he him does. the truth in he's a buddy friendly. way. But I think if Obi Wan was like, you know what, I'm with you, he'd be like, great, let's do it. That's what he's trying to get him to do. He's trying to Scientology him. Would yeah. you say there are many twists in the Star Wars universe? Yeah, bag of pretzels. Yeah. There Get him not. at the 50s diner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we talked a Such lot a about the 50s diner. <laughs> I, I heard it. You were yeah, listening to that episode. That yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, going to do two more episodes just on the diner. <laughs> I swear to God. It's so funny. I love everyone's accent in these movies. It's like, oh, you're from England. Yeah. You're from the Bronx. Yeah. You're from Space Bronx. One order yeah. space eggs coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Get your New York, I mean, space <laughs> times. <laughs> so Obi Wan's on a Obi-Wan's on a lightning rack. Yeah, Dooku's like, "Here's what's going on," but I'm your friend. Sure, yeah, just come over with me. And Obi Wan's like, "No, I'm a Jedi. Right. I don't quit just because there's some nice piece of pussy for me to chase after." Bug like pussy. you, Dooku, you and your bug pussy. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "They don't have pussies. That's why they build them out of stone." All of this happens in the film. <laughs> yep. All Absolutely. this dialogue is said out loud verbatim. So he's like, "Fine, then you, uh, I'll leave you be." Yeah. Then, yeah, he just leaves, and then in the next scene is Obi-Wan just chained to a giant pillar. Is there well, anything okay. in between yeah, those no, two things? Yeah, no, there's some oh, serious oh, cuts where you're like, what happened <laughs> yeah, 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 in between yeah. that Droid scene? Droid factor. So he's in the lightning thing. Then you see Anakin and Padme land. They're sure. like, here it is. He goes, look, some exhaust. They, like, see exhaust coming out of, like, tubes. Sure, yeah. And they're Still like, on oil. we should land there. Yeah. That's their thing. Like, oh, that's a good place to land. Yeah, on a planet, by the right, way. Right, on a planet. It's a planet. They see exhaust and they're like, oh, there must be a what factory. What if they landed on the there. other side of the planet by mistake? And yeah. then they're like, oh, shit, we got to go 40,000 miles that way to go find Obi-Wan. Every planet in these two movies. It's like they have one parking lot yeah. and everyone's like, great, that yeah. put us right there. It's like the, every planet is like Canada or it's like 10% <laughs> is populated. Yeah. And the rest of it's just a wilderness. Well, it is another hot desert planet. 
It's another hot desert. So, yeah, they go into the bug land, and then, yeah, they wander into Okay, so they see factory. the exhaust. They're like, park where the exhaust is. Yeah. Don't keep on driving. Try to find where people are. No, sure. Park Why? The Why would you do that? Then they yeah. find a random door. Yeah. <laughs> yep. This is it's, all it's correct. This, I rewatch it just to make sure it was this <laughs> you, random and coincidental. No, it, and then, it, yeah. it, the movie is just like, come on. It's yeah. Just, My question is, it. is yeah, it, do they have, like, a navigation thing? Are we supposed to assume that they have some sort of map? Like no. Some, like, no, R2, no. Or somebody's, no. like, knows where that is. Absolutely not. No, okay. Anakin just sees the exhaust. Well, then that's Jedi stuff uh, then, right? Jedi I mean, intuition. Yeah, that's mu- that where there must smoke, be what it is. There's like, people. <laughs> Well, they well that yeah. that's Jedi intuition yeah. for sure. Yeah. Knowing what smoke. It's a famous means. old Jedi saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, where there's smoke, there's people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that old Jedi yeah. adage. I feel like I buy. That's not concerning to okay. me. Okay. Like I feel like I mean, if you can sense that somebody's dying on a foreign planet, yeah. <laughs> right. then you should be able to find the that's goddamn true. door. Sure. <laughs> to that's get true. to them. Right. But they're really far off. Like they're not anywhere close to where he is. No, they have. There's one droid factory in between where they need to be and where. Where is the reality? Yeah, you, to know. get there, you have to go through a droid factory. Yeah. Well, right, Padme right, says right. something very important right before they walk through the oh, door. Oh, yeah. She's like, I'd love to do some diplomatic negotiations here. Mm. I'd love. She's like, she's like, I, yeah. I be good. I'm a senator. I'm here. Maybe I can talk to the people, do some diplomatic negotiations. Yeah. Now let's open this door. Oh, it's a droid factory. <laughs> and then, like, they just fall into a, a conveyor belt. Right. It yeah. just becomes like a level of Super Mario. It becomes, it becomes the first scene yeah. in um, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, yeah. It becomes the opening credit sequence where the the whole process, and then it turns out you're just making a cookie. Right, right. Um, it also reminded me a lot of uh, released three years earlier. There's a very similar sequence in Galaxy Quest. Yes, yeah. that's true. It's almost a joke where they're like, yeah. "Why are there blades here? This doesn't make the any sense." The joke is, "Why yeah. is this timed at such a random order?" <laughs> right. like, the joke right. in Galaxy yeah, 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 Quest yeah. is the TV show was shitty. Right. The aliens have rebuilt. The ship based off of the TV right, show. Right. So there's no reason the pillar should be dropping <laughs> and the smoke should be shooting out at those moments. And she's like, "Whoever wrote this is an asshole." Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> Galaxy Quest is like the greatest movie ever made. Oh, it's one of the best. Yeah. If not the best. Are they bringing that back? That's what I heard. They fucking should. Yeah, I heard there was a sequel. Or something. Do we need? Do we need to? Can we not just? It let is it kind be? of perfect. Doesn't as, Galaxy I mean, Quest why end so not? well? Is my philosophy on anything? <laughs> this is why you're moving to LA. You're yeah. gonna ruin everything. You're gonna become a Scientologist. <laughs> you're gonna just, be like, why not? Re- you're gonna re- reboot, reboot everything. everything. Yeah. Well, because then it exists, and you don't. No one needs to see it. <laughs> you know, but why you not, have the option to. Why not make it so that true. no one can watch? What what an stirring sentiment! You yeah. have the option to see it. It's you like, don't have to. I like the first SpongeBob movie. Did anyone see the second? Second one's great. Second one's well, good. First I'll, one's I'll great. never know. It's really good. You should see it. First one's really good, though. Did you see the second one? I haven't seen it. It's really, really good. I kind of like it more than the first one. Okay. I, I, I'm, really I'm meaning to see it. I'll, I can see yeah. it on video. I'll say I want to. I want to publicly use my platform here to say this to everybody. The like live action CGI superhero stuff in the movie is the last fifteen minutes. Right, all the stuff that oh, okay. was like they totally missed so much it. of that. In yeah, the, right. the first eighty five percent of the movie is just a classic SpongeBob movie. It's about um, SpongeBob and Plankton on a road trip together. It's yeah. fucking great. That sounds awesome. And then the superhero stuff is great when it happens, but it's not the majority of the movie. My roommate is is con- is always convinced that uh, uh, my brother is like exactly like Squidward. Your in, brother is exactly like yeah, Squidward in his demeanor. Right, you've met my brother. Yes. and yeah, so we always call him Squidward. Anyway, that's just. That's Who's my... the Squidward on Star in Star Wars? The the little bug man with the large nose who flies around and it. Oh, fit... Watto. Yeah, Watto. Yeah, yeah. That's Squidward, right? The pod, my best friend. Pod racing guy. You yeah. know, uh, the Watto is Griffin's favorite Star Wars. It's my character. favorite Star Wars character. Really? Yes. Yeah, the flying space Jew. <laughs> yeah, the flying flying space Jew slaver. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> he sells junk. He owns slaves. He's Anakin's father. Do we have? That's my big theory: is that he's Anakin's father. This is a serious because Anakin's penis looks like Watto's nose. That's my theory. I've restated that now for the fifth time on the show. Do we have anything to say about the conveyor belt with Anakin and? and yeah, Padme? well, the most important There's nothing thing to say here. about it. So they're they're fucking jumping around, yeah, avoiding yeah. There's things. There's like blades, chop, chop. They clearly then, don't know what's coming. George right. is yelling very vague direction. No, no, uh, Natalie, it's a it's a droid factory. What does that mean, George? <laughs> Just react like you're in a droid factory. <laughs> At one point, Padme falls into like a smelting. Like, That's what I, I yeah. love that part. Jar. She's yeah. just like, I'm in a big bowl now. Yeah, yeah. And then, it, yeah. It's like a giant pestle and mortar, you know? Right. Yeah. There yeah. is a lot of good, I think, <laughs> uh, uh, 
cutting there. Like, I think that there's, you know, it's kind of interesting. You think the, the lava is going to drop on her. So you're speaking as a filmmaker. Now, yeah, I think, I think yeah. there's some interesting stuff going on cinematically. <laughs> sure. I, I would say not thematically or plot wise, sure. but, but definitely in the way they're cutting it, you're like, oh, shit, she's going to get covered in goo. And then it's fine. We um, we talked a lot on Phantom Menace about how George Lucas likes the no talky the action you know like the it's blood like race. a Chaplin yeah. like modern times it's, it's yeah. very uh, Chaplin y yeah. or Harold yeah. Lloyd or whatever yeah, yeah. it's high jinxy totally. when she's falling in bowls he's getting his hand caught in a and metal a thing lot of, like you say yeah uh, uh, oh, it's yeah. great I love it yeah now but you love it <laughs> I do love it but when C three PO stumbles yeah, right. on, see this is the important thing to talk about. yeah so why did they because they enter later C three PO and R two D two they're they're following, but way behind because they're I really they're slow. They're slow. Yeah, they're slow. So, like, C-3PO wait, just wait. falls in. Like, are, does R2 actually push him in? Well, C-3PO and Anakin are talking on the ship before they uh, disembark, and uh, and it, they're they're having a weird fight. But we can't really understand what's being said because R2 doesn't speak English. That's true. Yeah. So R2 is going like beep 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 beep. And C three PO is like, of course I'm going. That's my job. See, it's funny too. Who gets subtitles and who doesn't? Yeah, like, you there's go, a like, lot of subtitles in this. There's film. a You're ton right. of subtitles, yeah. and then R two is still just unintelligible. Yeah, we're just supposed yeah. to base all of everything. We it's just on how people are reacting to it. And I feel yeah. like that can be done. It is not done in this film. Yeah, <laughs> like C three PO's responses don't make it clear what R two has said. He just other goes, than that sure. he's offended, but yeah. he's like getting pissy with him. It's like seems like R 2s giving him some guff, right? Yeah, and he's like, oh, okay. And they don't really know each other. They've yeah. kind of just met. I mean, they met yeah. very. No, they didn't meet no. on Tatooine. This is no. the first time they met, and they're automatically fast At enemies. Odds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just it seems like there's a little bit of irritation between the two. Well, it's like when you have a robot and your friend has a robot, and you're like, "Oh, our robots should be friends." It's like just because they're robot, yeah, that's offensive. Doesn't necessarily mean I know it's true. You're a robot. You're a robot. Why you guys have a lot to talk about? Like how you can't fuck. We don't even speak the same language. Can't Um, fuck. Okay, so they're they're falling behind them. Right. Then C three PO is looking over the ledge where they've fallen, and they're going through the whole Buster Keaton routine, right? Right. And they're just watching. He says, "Oh no, how terrible! Machines making machines. What's next?" And then R two comes up behind. Behind him and <laughs> hits him, right? What's yeah, Ben, ben looking is looking at? up uh, jokes C3PO for us.com. Oh, I see. You're looking up C3PO jokes? It looks like the most 90s yeah. old website. I thought you were looking like up like site. quippy one liners to say. <laughs> well, quickly, before before you say anything, this of course. They're going to check in with me at some point, so I had to <laughs> yeah, have some totally. great quips. <laughs> this is our new segment. This is Joke Corner from Producer Ben, aka Producer Ben, <laughs> aka Ben Deucer, down, aka ben. The Haas, aka Mr. Positive, aka. Hello, Fennel. Uh, yeah, yeah there's me. really nothing, Ben. No, there's not. Yeah, you you haven't found uh, anything. I have to I have to keep looking. What joke corner? We've been setting up joke corner for five weeks, and you haven't found one fucking joke. Wait, here Just we say go. Here's what a, a drag. Joke. It's uh, boy, uh, this Star Wars. What a drag. Anyway, yeah, so I mean, kind of C-3PO gets shoved into the thing. Well, first, oh it's God. just a little tap. And right, C-3PO's and he's, like, oh, 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 R2, please, why? you almost knocked me over. And then R2's like, oh, good idea. Yeah, it's true. He tried to why murder does he do him. This? That is intense. Why because they had, like, they had like a five-second disagreement on a ship. Well, you would think maybe it would pay off. Like, oh, yeah. he needed him to fall into the droid thing because it does this later thing where it shuts down the droid. Doesn't? Yeah. No. No, no, it no. It was to kill him. No. <laughs> yeah, he's literally just trying and to kill this guy. R2 reveals previously unnoticed jets in yeah, his he can legs. Fly. He, he can, can fly. fly. Why just... is he? He's got the slowest wheels in the world. This they... whole fucking, these two movies, you have to wait for R2 <laughs> to get Someone probably there. wasn't able to check a bag. Because they had to bring R2, yeah. and he could have flown the entire time. He could have flown. Padme's got some crazy <laughs> luggage. <laughs> wasn't able to check him. <laughs> she's like, I need my headdress box, you know? Oh my That's God. why she's running around without one of those crazy yeah, he things He was late. On. She was late to the airport because R2. Turns out he can fly the whole time. So he pushes him over, and then he just starts flying yeah, he around. he just flies over the action. And just get, yeah. I guess he, no, he does stop the lava from... Uh, spewing all over Padme, uh, Padme, getting in her bowl, getting in her cereal. Yeah, bowl. He, yeah. He, <laughs> he, but he, like, almost by he, accident, right? Yeah, he's yeah. like fiddling around with the computer again. We don't really get why what R 2s motivations are. Yeah, he like puts. I thought, yeah, he's R two's kind he of puts a, he has his an little appendage. robot thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah his, his little robot finger. Right, he's got robot penises and jetpacks. Uh, yeah. into, I love that security like, in the Star Wars universe is just so minimal. Like you can yeah, just it's hack like, it if buy you have a one of these computer. robots. <laughs> yeah, and one, that's it. You can get through everything. Yeah, yeah. like what's R two supposed to be? Uh, he's uh, an, navigation. He's a hyperdrive or? repair droid from oh, the right. first movie. Yeah. He, okay. 
I mean, that is all and does navigation because he helped out Anakin yeah. in the Naboo yeah. Starfire. He fire. fits in your in your ship, but he's right. also a black hat hacker. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he also in minutes can hack into the like a dr- this is where they make the droids. He's God a, knows he's what a classic havoc he could Chris read. Hemsworth type. He's no. here. Yeah, exactly. it's almost like yeah. why don't you just flip a switch and make all those droids good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. or maybe just off, just yeah. hit a, a whole everything off, right. not just the lava. Yeah, this movie is weirdly concerned with what it takes to build an army. Like most yeah, war that's movies true. are about like that's the true. cost of war and all the soldiers we lose. Yeah, and in this movie they're like, oh no no no, the warriors are just things you make. It's it doesn't true. matter who is, dies, is, who cares. That is the only real justification of this scene is that you know we've already seen the clones yeah. being made yeah. and filing off into their ships. So here yeah. we. This is the other side. This is where the droids come this from. This is where the droids come from. Fascinating. Had, Genosis is your droid planet. Do you think that this movie is an allegory for like 9-11 yes. and, and what happened afterwards? Yes. Yeah. I think that this movie is like a really shitty analogy for right. that kind of – for like the yeah. general politics of the era. Particularly the when they put saber like, rattling. Yes, exactly. And they put all the power in the hands of that other old white guy who's not – Palpatine. Palpatine yeah, there's a lot of fear mongering. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. like, if we don't have an army, things are going to get bad. We yeah, have right. to be first. And Jar Jar is us. like just representative of all like foolish politicians who like buy into this yeah. line of argument. Being and, told, and, yeah. and the reason it's a bad allegory, I think, is because they do have a huge army. Yeah. So they would need one. Yeah. yeah. Whereas it's we true. had a huge one and they had like 12 guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah. And what if we got to Afghanistan? <laughs> there's so much. <laughs> what if we, I know. It's there's insane. so many holes in the in the whole thing. Because it's they seem to not want these separatists right. who Dooku leads to leave the Republic. But yeah. like, why? Let okay. them leave. They seem yeah. like annoying troublemakers. Right. Yeah. What's also, the you big have deal? enough planets. There are clearly there's millions. so many planets. <laughs> Too many planets. Oh, my God. Too many planets. I anyway. guess it's the dark side. They know it's probably being run by the dark side. Although they keep saying, it's like, as Jedis, we should have seen this coming. Yeah, they're like, yeah, wasn't that, that convenient they for the plot? They say that an awful lot. Yeah. Well, Dooku's not just a fucking politician. He's a, he's a Sith. Yeah, well, but he's kind of revealing that right now to Obi-Wan. Yeah, that's true. Like, that dark is Tyrannus. unclear. Yeah, yeah and it's and like there? the twist. And, yeah, he's, a twist for a character we only met five minutes earlier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's yeah. like, and by the way, I'm, yeah, and he It'd never like calls himself Darth Tyrannus. <laughs> right. The only person who calls him Tyrannus is Dooku in passing when he's not there. Yeah. And apart from that, he's just Dooku. I mean, yeah. it's Django, I think I said Dooku. Django right. calls him Tyrannus. Yeah, I'm, losing, man. I'm losing my fucking yeah. mind. Man who hired me was a man called Tyrannus. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what on the nose? But Last a- <laughs> time Sidious is apprenticed yeah. with Darth Maul. This time it's he's upgraded to a much older man. It's always great <laughs> yeah, to have an apprentice who's twenty years older. Than yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? What? Wait, he was a Jedi. Yeah. Now he's a count. He's got to be someone's fucking apprentice. It's true. He's also a count. I guess that's that's different from. I don't know. I don't. I mean, you think he'd get grandfathered into being a Sith master? I think we would be mad about this more if Christopher Lee wasn't so good. He's so, We're just like, yeah. oh, he's the villain. We get it. His reaction shots are so good. He's Ugh, reacting to he's nothing, so and he's good. so understated. All right, we have to move through past this droid. Uh, but wait, oh, wait you missed you the what about C three PO? Okay, right, yeah, getting yeah. his head. C three PO gets his head because put on a his droid. machinery is clearly compatible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, all machinery. you need to do is go like, zzz, and then that's it. Everyone uses the same UCB, <laughs> USB two point yeah. Fuck me, <laughs> UCB yeah. comedy. Hey, thank you th- for ho- hosting us. I just I, gave I, it speaking of a droid assembly line, <laughs> yeah, I found uh, one of the jokes. Oh, great. Oh, good. Uh, uh, joke corner. Yep, it's joke corner. So C-3PO is like, die, Jedi dogs. Oh, what did I say? Because he's wearing uh, the other robot's that's body. And there's he gets that moment. Confused. Yeah. yeah, right. There Where he's that, shooting, yeah. but he's also C-3PO. Now, that's classic comedy. It yeah. Is, right? it's, uh, I mean, but also yeah. his head is separate, too, and also C-3PO a little bit. He's half and half. He's half and half. He's half and half. Because his head falls okay, off, so yeah, and they're both His head falls him. off. He's looking for the head. He's like a he worm. wanders into the perfect spot so that the assembly line, which is automated to only drop heads at a certain point, yeah. will drop his head at that moment, yep. gives him a battle droid head, yeah. then it picks up mm-hmm. his head and places it on a battle droid. Right. Because yeah. its head was... When, did it fall into a bucket of heads? It, it fell into, fell a, into head a head bucket. bucket. Yeah, yeah right. that's right. That's right. So now there's a battle droid that thinks it's C-3PO and a C-3PO that thinks it's a battle droid. Kind of. Sort of. It's sort of like the Jar Jar thing in episode one where it's like they kind of fall over, but then they shoot someone, right? Like it's sort of a lot it's, of hilarious It's sort of like face off. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. like face off. Yeah. It's also, basically exactly like face off. Also, face-off. like let's build a lot of shitty clones. Yeah. <laughs> Just as a plot. Right. Like why don't we build bad robots yeah. Yeah. that are easy to beat? Right. 
That's why we need a clone army because the robots are too bad. Okay, so Droid Factory. No, line, I mean they like suck. Right, like at being robots. <laughs> like they're like, terrible. This is oh, they're the worst robot. We yeah. haven't even yeah. got to the fact that on this, you know, the you know the manner of execution that they decide. This for is the Anakin. Right. Okay, so they okay. make it through the Droid Factory. Yay, yeah, we yeah, beat the right. level. Let's lower the flag right. and re- re- rescue Princess Peach. And then they go, nope. We caught you. Like, different series of bugs are like, we got you. It's true. And also, Chain Anakin loses his lightsaber. His lightsaber's cut, cut in half. In half. Yeah. yeah. More he goes, foreshadowing. I wrote this line down, too. He goes, after all that, which is the most frightening experience of anyone's life, I Absolutely. would say, he loses his lightsaber, and then he almost looks in the camera and goes, Obi-Wan is going to kill me. That is right. He also says, not again. Yep. <laughs> not again. He keeps losing the lightsabers. He's losing it. So his lightsaber's cut in so half. If he was a, a cop, he'd be off the force. Yes. So he, he's off the force. You floor. lost yeah. your gun again? <laughs> and you fell in love with your, you know, yeah. your person you were guarding. Okay, that's it, Skywalker. I want your lightsaber and your rat tail on my desk immediately. What's Ben looking at? He up? just, like, loaded porn. No, it's a pop-up that right, came anyway. up. All right? <laughs> guys, guys, we gotta I'm get to trying to do my job. Fighting. You guys hey, do hey, your save job. save it for the fan fiction episode. <laughs> oh, boy, you're right. The, uh, this isn't th- fan. <laughs> they make it through the whole level. This whole movie is fan. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. They make it, George Lucas is the biggest Star Wars fan in the world. True. Uh, they make it through the whole level they instead the of level. getting the prize. They beat the boss. They're, they beat the boss. They're chained up, and they go come this way. Sure. Yeah. And then they have this confession that we talked about before, where they Padme love. finally admits that she loves him. Yeah, mm-hmm. You're like, what's going on? They're in a chariot, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's and and remember, Nuke Gunray is always is like, how are we gonna kill Padme? He's really excited he to kill. He really Padme. wants to kill yeah, Padme. They're like, we captured the senator, and he's like, oh boy, give me, give me, oh yeah, boy. right, um, yeah. They have the love. Con- we tardy. We talked yeah. a lot about the love last week was love. love the love. Um, yeah, yeah. so good. Uh, well, it looks like our lives are about to end. My life is already about to end. What do you mean? I love you. But you said you couldn't love. You said it would destroy our lives. I think our lives are about to be destroyed. It's just, it's just, you know, it, yeah, yeah. it's real. Kissing. It's screwball patter. It just bounces between them like a, you know. Yeah, like a ping pong ball. Yeah. Uh, the doors open up. What? It's an arena. Oh. oh. And Dooku and Jango Fett and New Gunray and some bug people all are there. All old friends all in one place. And he, well, Obi-Wan's tied to a pillar. What? How much do you think tickets cost to that? I Eight think. bug coins. Well, this, this. <laughs> This is my question. <laughs> Pago the Lesser has, like, armor. Sure. He's able to speak in this sentences. This is the leader of the bugs. Right. Yeah. Everyone else seems to be of the same status. Like, everyone else seems yeah. to be, like, a worker They're and a peasants. warrior. peasants, right. They have no clothes. <laughs> they have no, like, armor or but anything. But they can fly. But they can fly. They can fly, yeah, pretty Right? Cool. Which would but be fine. everyone in the audience looks exactly the same. Yeah, well, yeah. It wasn't it just kind of clip art? Like, all right. <laughs> yeah. you can you imagine if you lost your bug wife? You'd be like, Debra! De- is that Debra? <laughs> Click. Debra. <laughs> Click if you can hear me. Yeah, Debra. <laughs> ah, you look just like my wife, Debra. <laughs> Damn. Do they do they regularly have these arena battles and do they just have like a backlog probably. of humans? They've got an arena for it. So anytime a human lands on the plant, they're they like, probably just use them it for other the events. Yeah, yeah. It's like true. the like the sport games that are in the back of that right. bar. It's Springsteen's playing their next robot week. football yeah, yes. or whatever. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Billy Joel's got a residence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every Thursday night. Yeah. Billy Joel does his piano man and routine. <laughs> uh, and then and then they send monsters to eat him because they have Billy Joel clones. <laughs> yeah. Billy Joel clones. Billy, Billy Joel clones. I just okay. <laughs> Joel. That, well, that's the third one was going to be called Attack of the Jones. <laughs> what if on Camino there's clones. a building that just is Billy Joel? <laughs> They're just spewing out more Billy Joels. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene. What if Billy Joel Obi-Wan, had played Django Fett? Obi Wan is looking. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Obi Wan is looking for the clones, and he, <laughs> he opens, opens the, the door, and it's just da 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 da. He goes, oh, <laughs> "Wrong door." That would have been. He turns terrific. the camera and goes, oh, "Wrong door." That would have been great. That would all of it would have been great. It would have won ten Oscars if that had happened. <laughs> My love. Just that one scene was included. Uh, don't go in there. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, they are tied to pillars. I'm saying, is this a big day for them because they've had three humans land on their planet? It's a packed house. 
It's a packed house. But I'm saying, do, do, who are they usually killing? Are they killing their own? Is it a special occasion that they have humans? I don't know. Do they only get to do this when there are humans? What's the structure? I think it's bug fighting. I'm pre- I think usually uh, it's bug, bug fighting. fighting. Big sure. bug fights. I think you know usually. what I think it is? I think it's just another level in this video game that we're talking about. That's yeah, the whole exactly. problem. It's yeah. like, oh, where are the pillars and some monsters are going to attack them. They could just literally just bang, bang, yeah. bang. This Great. is like the that problem masher, solved. Yeah. Yeah. Button masher level where you have to beat like 80 in them. So first it's just a <laughs> bunch of- you guys ever Everyone at home know that David just made a gun with his hand and, <laughs> and shot Morgan shot and Griffin in the head. And and in the head. Yeah, right. That's what that Some was. Some of our classic uh, Griffin David present uh, a f- physical play. <laughs> <laughs> like the time I kept on putting my hand on David's arm to show how physically intimate in the Padme romance Anakin episode. Are. Oh, that was that was. Very I was caressing that, his a arm a great episode. Yeah, oh. it was a great episode. The bottle episode, but it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a bottle. Every episode is a <laughs> is a bottle. A box this, episode. We, we're cored in a bottle. Yeah. Um, I I hate this sequence. They're fighting the yeah, animals. So there's we got a reek. We got an Acklay. <laughs> we have a Nexu. Yeah. Okay. These so, all have names. Yeah, they all have yeah. names. So, are they all from that planet? Who knows? Unclear. Should okay. we look it up? Should we go to Wikipedia? So the reek, look is, up the the reek. Ro- the reek is the one with kind of like horns. He's the rhino like, one. Yeah, and then yeah. there's one that's sort of like a little cat. I like that one. I believe yeah, that's, that's the next one. That's probably the best one. And then what's the third one? The Ackley is the, the spider. The, like, like, uh, he yeah. looks like the spider from Gremlins too. It's like if a spider and a praying mantis did it. Right, it has <laughs> yeah. kind of like sort of spiky feet and yeah. stuff. That one's the least interesting. And it has a Venus flytrap for a face. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like if a spider was a bug. Yeah, it gotcha. Yeah. Right. Perfect. Yeah, like yeah a spider it's just, was a, I mean, no, nothing more needs man. to be said. Yeah, if a spider was a bug. So, again, <laughs> Count Dooku is there watching. Everyone's there watching. And I, I uh, like that Count Dooku has the time to, for just, like, enjoyment. Yeah, like isn't he yeah. the leader of a government of planets? <laughs> It'd be like if, like, Obama was at the Manny Pacquiao fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and there's... There's and Obama. also, if Manny Pacquiao had been fighting a giant praying mantis. Yeah. With a, yeah. And it was a fight to the death. In a way, yeah. he was. <laughs> In a way. What happens in this scene? Hold on, Griffin. I got the Reeks page. Oh, for crying out loud! Well, they're all tied up. They're all tied up with to the chains, pillars. With yep. normal with like chains that you get. Chains. It. Yeah, <laughs> loose. Uh, if if a chain is anything, it's loose. It's always real loose. Okay, wait. This uh, this is very interesting. I don't think it is. Reeks were herbivores by nature, but they were often fed meat for exhibition, sport, and executions. Mm. This turned their leathery skin a dark red and made the Reeks more aggressive. See, this just goes to show my theory that I think Star Wars needs like blackfish style documentaries <laughs> about <laughs> about, about all of this stuff yeah. yeah yeah reeks could not thrive on meat so they were given just enough plant matter to keep them happy so reeks the like the reek giving a reek meat is like turning it into the hulk we're saying reek a lot they're usually brown. Is it like the is, red reek we know? This is a this is an amped up. The reek doesn't even know what it's doing. This reek has gone crazy angry, on me. Yeah. Is it like in Super Mario World when when you jump on the caterpillar, it gets red and yes. it starts? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Do, its hat falls off. Right. Do, do you like, give it meat? That it doesn't even want to eat meat. It's not even nourishment. It's not even energy. Griffin. You give it some meat and, and you go, go fucking kill Obi Wan and it goes crazy. All right. Reek's a good guy. All right. That's enough. I like the reek. <laughs> Reeks in the wild can survive up to 150 years, but in That's captivity, and, it's only about 30 years. And, and they're like fin, fin goes down. down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we're in the same. We're on the same page here. Reeks are great. I do like when the cat. I like the instant justice in Star Wars for kids, obviously. But like for kids. when it's like someone prods them with a with a lightning stick. Yeah, and the cat just the cat just kills him yep. because yeah. you know you go oh that's sa- that's so sad for the cat and then you go, oh that's great for the cat. <laughs> Oh, but then remember, uh, these boring. three animals are all murdered. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happens to the reek? Does he get shot? What Obi Wan? Because yeah. rides Anakin, one of them. Anakin yeah. uses his chain to oh, turn into a leash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The cat like rips uh, Padme's jumpsuit so we can see her tummy more yeah. and gives her like a scratch. Love that tummy. Uh, oh, they're, like, yeah. a, they're two really good jokes we missed. Mm. Are there? They're all chained to these pillars. Yep. And Obi Wan's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I was wondering where idiots. you were. Yeah. Like, and Anakin's like, I did what you told me to. I resubmitted your message. I retransmitted to the Jedi Council. Shut up, Dad. And he's like, yeah. What are you doing here? And he's like, yeah, I felt like coming to rescue you. He's like, Nice job. Well, we're gonna have to work to survive this. And he goes, What about Padme? And then Obi Wan goes, I think she's on top of it. And you and cut to Padme's top. on top of the pillar. You don't cut Boom. to. You wipe to. You wipe to. <laughs> he wipes with it. <laughs> Scenes. Within scenes, <laughs> to other to coverage of the same actions in this, in this movie was a wipe. 
Someone should do an edit where every cut is a wife. Even like two shots of just them yeah. talking yeah, to each the other. Wife, 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 wife. It's like windshield dialogue. wipers. Yeah. <laughs> Wiped in opposite directions. Back and forth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Padme gets on the pillar. I mean, you're she's right. Obi-Wan pin. uses the chain. She's got a bobby yeah, she's pin. Got a bobby pin. So she's fucking und- undoing the cuffs. Yeah. Uh, oh, and yeah. she swings down yeah. and kicks. kicks the cat with her feet. Yep. The cat scratches her back in a way that completely removes all the jumpsuit material around right. her midriff. Right. Yep. Perfect, and which is made out like, of earth cotton. Yeah. <laughs> and leaves very, very superficial scars, even though it had just murdered someone. But only saw. on her back. Yeah, only on so her back. So that her front still looks fuck up. Oh, yeah. It's important and that her front is undamaged. But you'd love kids. to do it from behind and look at that <laughs> yeah. scar. That's for adults. I'm saying the front's for kids, the back's for adults. Obi-Wan rides the reek? No, Obi-Wan's the attacking the Ackley. He's not riding yeah. one. Obi-Wan's yeah, like, trying to spear the Ackley. Padme's oh, is fighting it, the is Nexu. Is Anakin who rides? Anakin's, Anakin's riding, riding the around. Right. Obi-Wan Using the chain. Is, is John Carter from mars it. Yeah. With a big sword. Yeah. Yeah. So then, like, the Nemodians are like, oh, no, come on, uh, kill Padme. Why is this taking so long? Right, yeah. And they don't think like, it's legal. Do time, do time. Also, yeah. like, you got everyone there. Let them enjoy the yeah, fight. Yeah, like, This is way better than them just getting eaten. Right? Yeah, for sure. This is a money's Good worth. Show. Yeah, they've got snacks to sell. <laughs> Bug, Bug snacks. snacks. Yeah. But they're, like, beating the animals. They are. So it's like, oh, fuck. Send yeah. in send in the rules. So they, they send in the battle droids, right? Right. They, yeah. send, they send in some battle droids, including <laughs> C-3P droid. Yeah, and also these new battle droids are, like, really big. And there's no quality crowd. control. Yeah, those are super battle droids. <laughs> yeah, super battle droids. <laughs> they're called super battle droids. That's what there's they're no called. There's no quality it's control. True. Yeah. They're just like, that one's fine. That one's fine. Right. That one's got a weird head. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> that right. one's fine. Must be a new kind. So yeah. those two are doing their, like, routine, and now the battle droid is like, oh, why am I so fussy all of a sudden? Right. And C-3PO is like, kill the jet. Uh, what, what am I saying? Like, well, you're it. forgetting also that in the middle of this, Yoda drops down in, like, an airship. Yeah. Not yet. What? Not yet. Pretty sure this is already. Not. Right. Right. Go on. No, yet. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, well, they start droids, fighting. Battle and then droids. He, then just, we see yeah. a shadowy figure walking through the corridors of the arena. And we're like, what's this? And Mace Windu comes out. Oh, that's right. right. That's, right. that's right. And he's in and the he fucking spectator's box. And he activates his box. lightsaber, which is purple. Didn't know. Yeah. Crazy. He's in the spectator's box. Yeah. And they're like, Master Windu, nice for you to join us. And he goes, this party's over. He says, this party's over. Suddenly, Jedi's rain from the sky. Yeah. Well, yeah, they swoop With in. On a not yet on an aircraft carrier. First, it's just a oh, bunch first of Jedi's. Jedi's. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, it's just Kit a bunch of fucking Jack. Hit fist. Uh, we're talking Luminar and Dealy. Yeah. Kaya yeah. Madi. We're talking fucking Plue Clown. Yeah, he's the in there. The boys are back. Mm. The boys, and they're not sitting down. They're standing up. <laughs> they're fighting, lightsabering like crazy. Jump, yeah. jump, jump. It's kind of cool. Using like, their fucking sort of laser sword. This would have been a great opportunity for all those child Jedi's. Yeah, Those right. Kids. Some training. Yeah, who know yeah. how to lower the blinds. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been teaching them to lower blinds. I don't, uh, I'm not going to do a Yoda impression. Phantom Menace uh, uh, fans are a rabbit sort. And a lot of people do their own edits. Uh, haven't done the, the wipe edit yet. But like for the first That's movie, the one. There, was, there was a well-known edit called the Phantom Edit where they cut out Jar Jar. Right. Yeah, I've seen this. And like people say it greatly improves the movie. Right, right. And for the second one, I had someone tell me, like, oh, my God, you haven't seen like the rainbow edit okay. of Attack of the Clones? And I was like, no, what's the rainbow edit? And he was like, it improves the movie so much. This was like right when the movie had come out. Okay. It was like still in theaters. And he was like, you got to fucking tour What is it? This rainbow edit. The rainbow edit was, and pe- some people swear by it, is just in that final sequence, not that final sequence, in the big sequence where all the Jedi's land and they're fighting in the arena, all the lightsabers are different colors. Anyway, moving on. So, so it's the ju- whole movie. So instead of just like green and blue. And one purple. And one purple, it's like yellow, magenta, like all these, like periwinkle. Moving on. The rainbow The edit. Jedi have arrived. I'm just, I'm just right past We're that. doing a whole episode just, just on right the rainbow. right past edit. that. The Jedi arrive. They're fighting like crazy. <laughs> Dooku's like, Django, go. The fucking yeah, Dooku cares. finally sees, like, you know what? This might be slipping out of our hands a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing might be getting a little bit out of control. <laughs> he goes off to God knows. He gets in a ship. Yeah, well, no, he goes off to his back area. He's like, I'm going to go back to my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets the plans. But he gives, oh, but he gives, yeah, and he, he goes to Django. He goes, yeah, he goes go I'll fight take him. these. Yeah. Right. And you're like, well, you only have one copy of the <laughs> goddamn plan. You don't have like a cloud you could put those They're in. They're like yeah. hologram plans. It's not like a physical document. Yeah, he checks them. Like, he's like, yep, yeah. this is the one. Yeah. Great. 
Perfect. It's, it comes from a clam. Yeah. <laughs> Gets in a ship. He sends Django. He goes, Django, sends Django yes. go find Take care of Django this. Django lands, like fucking shoots. He shoots some things. I right. think he shoots a creature. Okay, so the creature gets up on the balcony box, right? Oh, yeah. And Django right. shoots it off the box. Yeah. It's a Jedi creature. Shoots it, then does the cowboy, like, spin Yeah, he's pistol. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. This meanwhile, is like, cool. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan is, is like... You're so defensive. He is cool. <laughs> he's uh, cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But he, this is important. But this is the problem. His end is maybe not the Jango coolest. Jango Fett, set up as the deadliest killer. Yeah. yeah. Dooku finally goes, get on there, on the ground floor, and fucking fight this battle. True. Earn he your lands, money, man. Yeah. He turns around. Mace Windu looks at him, slashes his head it's off. It's pretty cool. Immediately. Yeah. He comes... He's shooting at Mace Windu. Mace Windu is like, block, block. And then he decides to run at Mace Windu, which is yeah. probably, sure, jetpacked yeah. or something. And Mace Windu yeah. just... I think off. that George Lucas wrote this without an outline and realized he had to, like, really start rapping shit. Yeah, right, right. And he was like, like, I really uh, set this guy up, but, like, there's no time. Oh, They're telling me it just, has to be under yeah. 2.30. And now... <laughs> Sam Jackson keeps saying, like, he wants to do something in this yeah. movie. Uh, Maybe he, he can end chop up his head. Yeah, yeah right. Right. Yeah, he chops his head. We talked a little bit about this. Boba Fett later picks up the head, and yeah. amazingly, his head doesn't fall out of the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, they're tight helmets. They're very tight. Okay, yeah. so at this Not point, comfortable. at this point, Yoda, our main man, drops in right. on a ship with clones. Yes. And he even he says, says, like, he goes, like, put me down there, you will. Yeah, yeah he <laughs> says, I think, around those Jedi, a perimeter create, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it's he something says. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, he goes, and you're, hey, see that spot where everybody's <laughs> fighting? I want to be right there. Yeah. What a tactician! You're like, is. you don't want to go to the, you want to <laughs> stop by over there. You yeah, know? you don't want to go check out the other side of the planet. No, I, put me there. Yeah, put me down there. So now, so the clones come in. They start shooting the battle droids. I guess right. And Anakin and Obi Wan and Padme are like, let's get on that. They ship. give chase. We need to fucking find. They Dooku. give chase mm-hmm. to Dooku. Right. Right. We're finally getting to the one like big thing in this. So movie. now more clones are coming to attack movie. of the clones. They're attacking. Finally. The clones but they're on are our landed. side. They're on our side, and the droids they're sending more and more battle droids out to attack the clones, and you're seeing like a war very quickly. Yeah. It's and the fastest escalation. In an arena. Yeah. In an arena. Yeah, it's true. Never before yes. has a battle turned into a war and, within the span of five and minutes. Never has it been so well contained. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's true. They did a nice job. The yeah. planet will be unscathed. Do you think yeah. it, is everyone still in the stands while this is happening? I, feel I like want to rewatch. Start like, this is off. the best yeah. show we've ever seen. Yeah, they're yeah, like, oh my god, it's the finale, you guys. Yeah, finally, in the middle of this, we should note like C three PO's head pops off, or, or something. R two pops it off and drags no, it his head pops over. Off. His I think body. it's knocked off, and then R two picks it up with his little. He's got. He's a, got like a suction cup. He's got like cup. a metal suction <laughs> yeah. cup thing. Yeah, and then and then he like welds it back onto C three PO. He says, "What a drag!" Right, which raises the question. Question, if C-3PO's head can just pop off its body, yeah. then what's going on with everybody just knocking droid heads off? Yeah. Like, well, you, you know, could just, they're not apparently alive? Apparently you could just flick them and they would fall Pretty apart. Pretty much. Yeah. They're, they're made of paper. Best joke in the movie. It's what? a it's supreme callback. It's what? two it, callbacks in one. What the fuck? They're fighting. And Anakin turns to Padme and he's like... Uh, how how are your uh, political democratic nego- negotiations going? Like he says, like the yeah, joke yeah, yeah, based yeah, on yeah. her going, like you know, well, we're fucking the Senate, whatever. And then she goes, uh, I'd say this is more like aggressive negotiations, which Pretty is a good. callback yeah. to when he is cutting up the space pair, and he's like, so we began a- aggressive negotiations, and she's like, what are aggressive negotiations? He's like, uh, negotiations with lightsabers, because that's, that's what they're pretty great. doing. I yeah, like man. that. That I don't think that's that funny. Good I think comedy. that's cool. Good comedy. I think that's very cool. I think it sucks. <laughs> I think it sucks. To, to me, that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. Especially since it's like, no, no, no. This is this is like war. Is this is this the beginning war. of a this long is... and terrible war? Yeah. No, no. It is. It's yeah. kind of funny. It's just sort of like, oh, you. Well, hey, you remember that at least? <laughs> yeah. But wait, we have to talk about their their they get in the ship and they fly over to Dooku and that's when Obi Wan and Anakin have a fight about like should Padme be here? What's yeah. the deal with you and Padme? By the way, yeah. I'm noticing a lot of sparks on? flying, yeah. like, and ah. they decide, you know what? Let's just shove her out of the ship. So they push her <laughs> out of a ship. They, that's how they. That's the agreement they come to onto the sand. And you're like, what the fuck? Where Obi Obi Wan is like, you're going to be expelled from the yeah. Jedi Order. All he wanted him to do was protect her. Yeah, the right. whole movie. Yeah, and then yeah. he's like, wait, you guys are friends. Die! Yeah. <laughs> I really, I listen. I really need you to take care of this bad May girl and really protect her. Oh, you did that. Kill her. Yeah. But this is shove her, her. Shove her right out. This is classic slut shaming. Oh, it's totally. He's true. the one who's acting in the wrong, and yeah. she gets punished for it. Her she white gets dress gets out of a torn. Vehicle. Oh God. 
shoved out of a moving vehicle. Shoved out of a moving vehicle. And you're like, is she dead? And then very quickly, George kinda, sends a couple clone troopers yeah, to Yeah, right. Yeah. She sort of rolls gently down and they go, the Hey, come with dune. us over here. They, they would, you don't have to worry about her for the next 15 and, minutes. And like, finally, we get to... Secret lair. Dooku's office. Yeah, Dooku's yeah. office. He's got a, like a escape rocket that he's right. going to get into. Right. Obi-Wan and Anakin. It's Austin Powers, too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Obi-Wan There's and the, Anakin. His head is on the volcano. Yeah. Lightsaber battle. Well, okay. Well, first they show up. Yeah. And Obi-Wan's like, take it easy, Anakin. Anakin's like, no. no. I'm ready to really fucking rip. Yeah, he yeah. got another lightsaber, by the way. Someone, like, tosses him a new lightsaber. He's got two at they one They bring point. in some, li- well, he yeah, gets well, he Obi-Wan. Gets yeah, right, yeah. Because yeah. he jumps, right, and then Dooku sh- shits him with lightning. Yeah, Just Obi-Wan goes, no! Yeah. Where, where <laughs> runs he, right It's pretty cool. Dude where did he like, get Urp. this lightsaber from? He watched one of his friends die in the arena and then fucking pickpocketed them. No, I think they just tossed him. He's got all that gold, too, now. He's got yeah. He like shows he up with all those corpses. rings on, yeah. and you're like, oh. <laughs> But can we talk about the lightning? Guys, yes. there's lightning. Dooku's got lightning, lightning out of his that hand. That is very cool. Yeah. It's really, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's a power uh, heretofore unseen Must be like in the a Phantom dark universe. power, dark it's, force power. Hey, now I see the appeal of oh, going to yeah, the dark side. Hands. I, I understand the appeal completely. Yeah, you're a Scientologist. Oh, like of course they, well, they have better <laughs> outfits. <laughs> yeah, they do. They have a little more style. Yeah. I I mean like to me it's like I don't understand what's so wrong. Like when when Anakin's talking to Padme about yeah. like uh you know how a dictatorship might not be that bad. Mm-hmm. You're just like nodding. I'm uh, just yep. like, mm-hmm. ah, cool. Mm-hmm. He sounds mm-hmm. like he, you know, I think it what is it supposed to be Nazis or something? It's way more like something it's like, Lenin. Yeah. yeah. You, you think know? yeah, it's just so you just need a strong hand to keep everything in more, order. In order. One person yeah. tell you how to do things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, clearly you got bugs flying around everywhere. You need some order. <laughs> I mean, this is a world that they're trying to protect, and they're having people torn apart by big bugs. The Senate's What's doing a saving? terrible job. What is worth saving with a lot of these places? Blown it. There is yeah. no question. Your argument is just wipe them out. My argument is just like, All there are them? some countries that need to be fucking, you know. And by countries, you mean planets. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm talking in the Alicorn. <laughs> you think certain countries should Canada be needs to be reined the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, so they're fighting. Dooku's got lightning hands. Yeah. Anakin's got two lightsabers. Well, no. First, Dooku fights Obi-Wan for a second, and then he, yeah. like, smushes him under a thing or something. Gets I don't him know. trapped under yeah. a thing. Yeah. Right, doesn't, I don't even remember. Uh, yeah. yeah. He, uh... Debris. Yeah. Yeah, he, like, makes something fall on he him. He knocks it's a tower. A pillar. It's a lot of tower. A lot of pillars. Tons of pillars. Thing. And then, so, Anakin's back. He's gonna kill Well, Yoda's Obi-Wan? there by the time that happens. Oh, uh, okay. I'm trying to remember the exact sequence of this. So basically, it's like, aren't, aren't Yoda can... and aren't Anakin and Obi Wan knocked out by the time that Yoda enters? Yes, yeah. they are incapacitated. Right. He, but chops, it's like but he chops. He chops Anakin's, Anakin's fi- arms. Yeah, off. Anakin right. fights Dooku for a second with He's two, got two sabers. swords, and then yeah, yeah. And then Dooku chops the arm gets off. one of them and then pushes him away. He gets yeah. Obi Wan a couple times, nicks yeah. him, yeah. which is that's enough. Right. To that's put right. Him that's right. what makes gives him a little shave, and then he falls down and he's about to kill him. Anakin gets up just in time, runs over, stops it, jumps, and then Dooku's like. Oh, that was very brave of you. you yeah, fag. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, right? And then, and then, it, those are the exact words. Obi Wan summons his, his yeah. shit back yeah. and tosses it to uh, yeah. Anakin, who then has two. Yeah, right. then which isn't brief, enough. It's kind of cool, but yeah, then and he, then he only off has hand. one arm. Yeah. Right. And he only has, and he right. gets zapped. Over, I guess, right. and then Yoda up. shows up. Okay. Little Yoda, and he's doing his little cane. And the walk. movie this is, is the, the movie is just like jacking off over this. Like yeah. it's yeah. so excited, Yoda it's just so walking. Ready. And this is the point when my girlfriend <laughs> realized that Yoda was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> and did she say, "Oh, she he's goes, so cute"? Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> he's you know, very you're like, small. What is that? He's like you a know? one and a half feet tall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here, here's and the then question. he started talking though, and I don't like that at all. <laughs> when I, but she, had seen... but the movie is literally like. You know, like they're talking and he yeah. like shoots the lightning yeah. and Yoda absorbs it. They build it up. And it, yeah, and then he makes something move and Yoda makes something. And then they're like, all right. This well. is my question for you folks. At the time that I saw this film in theaters opening day, yep. I thought this was the single greatest scene yep. I'd ever seen in the I movie. Will, it's pretty great. When, I, when this scene happened yep. in the cinema, like it was pandemonium. Yeah. Like people just lost their minds. Well, I don't bananas, even remember yeah. what happened in the movie. There like, are, I, yeah. You there, could barely keep track of what was happening on screen, but everyone was just screaming. There are literally applause breaks in the scene. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's sort of they go like, and then they stop for a second, and then yeah. I would say it's very cool, but it does seem totally pandering. Re- and, like, and, and, and rewatching it now, with everything else that happens, it's, it's his own thing. Look like a, it doesn't yeah. make a lot of sense. Yeah, this was the scene where I hit Cody and Molly and told them to stop fingering each other because they had to see what Makes was happening sense. on screen. And this did, is and, the third time I saw this movie in middle school. It was my two best friends who were dating, uh-huh. and they would have me essentially chaperone them to movies so their parents would let them hang out alone, uh-huh. and then they'd finger each other. And then I just have to sit and watch a movie by myself. Right. But you tried to get them other. to pay attention to this. I was like, they had I no know reaction, fingering right? is great, but you got to watch this. And they were like, fuck you. They watched it and then were like, that was not worth missing out on two minutes of fingering. Which is <laughs> it, it's probably worth that. <laughs> That's probably. about what it's worth. Yeah. But two minutes. I saw it, whatever. So opening, it opening, so it opening night. Yeah. And like everyone went crazy. Bananas. Got, it, just bananas. Did we know this was going to happen? Like had it been spoiled or was this a total surprise? That's what I couldn't remember. It had not been there spoiled. There was no inkling no. that this was no, going to happen. Because there's no promotion of it. It's not right. in the trailers. I, I remember when this came out because I was 11 years old and I had yeah. no idea what was happening. The, the movie entire makes no movie. Sense. The movie makes no sense. There's the movie just such is pretty dense, dense dialogue, yeah. and then there's just really. See, I was older than you guys. Dialogue. I'm older than you guys, which right. is really depressing. So I was 16. You were okay. 16 when it came out? 2002. So you must have so kind of understood some yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. I was. Yeah. I, it tracked. I don't there's know a if lot I understood. of politics, you know? Yeah. I don't know if I understood, like, you know. The motivations that play. I mean, I got that the movie wanted to make We don't sense, understand that, that now. I'm just real dumb. But. It w- he comes and it's like the movie's like oh and he yeah. like opens his cloak and he gets out the blade. Yoda's got a lightsaber. Oh my god! It's green. Very cool. And yeah. then his style of fighting is kind of basically just like bouncing around off the walls and shit. Once again, like a video He's game. He's flubber. <laughs> He's flubber. That's exactly right. No, but, and this is the thing. Christopher Lee obviously can't move around too much. So he's basically yeah. just standing and sort of going, you know, like yeah. like moving yeah. his arms around yeah. because, you know, In he's a big an old man. green room yeah. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and so Yoda's just kind of bouncing around, like kind of in correspondence to that. It doesn't really... F- Flow. It feels like Yoda only has like Mortal Kombat special moves. It feels yeah. like he's showy. It's you know? he's a showy. little showy. Like that Yoda, is I feel like would be the least showy. Yeah, and right. instead, I'm like watching he's it, and ham. it's like he didn't need to flip there. He's yeah. doing a lot of. Well, flipping. this is the thing. Also, I know he's got to make up for the lack of height, but he's doing yeah. like backflips and, and spins and, and stuff. And, like and that. he's going like. Whoa! He's yeah, like yeah, yelling yeah, the whole time. He's like yeah. fighting like a and figure skater. The whole <laughs> the whole thing where he like limps up and he's got his cane and then he reveals like, oh no, I could just be bouncing all the it's time. It's classic yeah. Wonka. It's original Wonka where he you think, oh no, it's like he's he's fucking. You're saying Yoda is like Gene Wilder reborn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's my second favorite actor. Same time. wispy hair. Yep. In general demeanor. That's yep. true. He That's was also true. married to Gilda Radner briefly. <laughs> Yoda and Gilda Radner, they were a couple. That's they right. were so good. Yeah. Um, that uh, was when Yoda was in his early 900s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, yeah, so that happens. So they, but that's sort of a, that's a draw, right? Well, no. Yeah, remember he goes, gets well, one. what happens that, to me was really funny is they each try to show off their force power. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then he and goes then like, like, oh, I know how we have to settle this. A sword fight. Yeah. He's like, yeah. our skills with a lightsaber. And you're like, why? And then, like, and a laser rapier. Yeah, and yeah. it's also it is funny because they're like, oh yeah, right, lightsabers. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we do we that. Do have, I forgot about great. that. Yeah. But yeah, so then what happens is Dooku runs away. He, he just be- books it. But before he, re- yeah, he gets on a plane. Well, yeah, I remember that part. <laughs> hops on his G five and he knocks over that pillar. <laughs> right, and he distracts Yoda. His whole game right. is pillars. He's got one move. So Yoda has to stop the pillar right. or chase him. Oh, he chooses to right. stop the pillar. Yeah. Good choice, probably. Yeah. Um. Because they're setting up a third movie. And also, I think Yoda just wants it to be like, you know, we were equal. You know? Yeah. We don't know. Yo, he also doesn't want to would... kill anybody. Then he picks up his cane and he just pretends like he can't walk again. <laughs> and like Anakin and Obi-Wan wake up and they're like, what happened? He was like, oh, oh that's why he's Wonka. Because the yeah. cane dropped. And this is the thing. Yeah, right. so <laughs> right. I just got that too. Yeah. But this is the thing. And then guess what happens? The movie's over. The end. No, two big things happen. Anakin and Thingy get married. Yeah, they right. go to Tuscany. And then Yoda says... They go back says, to Tuscany and he puts on a robot arm. <laughs> Yoda says, begun the Clone Wars has. I think he says, begun this Clone War has. And you're like, at the end? But what a fucking good setup for a third movie. The third yeah, movie the is... The Clone yeah. Wars. You assume the third movie would just be called Star Wars Episode Three: The Clone Wars. Yeah. And it would just be fucking three hours of like... The movies... The franchise is called Star Wars. Wars. It's right. true. It's like Multiple in two movies. Wars. Not Star... 
diplomatic Senate negotiations. No. Like, not star star subcommittee Trade hearings. Star negotiations. Star TIF. Yeah. <laughs> star treaties. It's fucking, we're teed up. The ball is on the tee. Begun the war has. Oh, great. Fucking, I'm ready. I'm rubbing my hands together. Directed by George Lucas. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, you get a wedding, and then you get... Dun, 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 dun. Well, it always ends done. on a party or a celebration. Yeah, it's a bit of a somber. It's a dour yeah. wedding. Yeah. If, yeah. if, if the first hand. movie ends up, this movie definitely ends down. Yeah. You know? The only people officiating, the, I don't know who's officiating, but the only witnesses at the wedding are C-3PO and R2-D2 who hate each other. Why are they still spending time together? Look, Do you think I gay think, marriage is legal in the whole galactic universe? I think universe only or with robots. Planet? Only, only with robot. robots. Only gay yeah. robot marriage. My theory is that only gay marriage is legal. <laughs> and that straight marriage Anakin, is illegal. Anakin and Padme are violating the law. That's why they're on the DL. It's true. We never see... Well, no. Cleglars. Uh, Cleglars and Shmi. That's the only marriage. Yeah, but do we know that that's legal? No, we have no idea. Right. That's yeah, really, it might not it's be like valid on another right. planet. Right. My uncles got married two years ago. But if you ask certain states, they were only married as of... But not, not now, okay. thanks to the Supreme Court's... Uh, Fair right, but I'm yeah. saying I'm saying maybe Thanks this is like yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. maybe What's Clegg Lars. Yeah, that's what they're called. You know, you got it. Really? You nailed it. Maybe Clegg Lars and Shmi got married in like Massachusetts. Yeah, they got I, married right. in Space, Massachusetts. Right, yeah. Space, Massachusetts. and then they like went back to <laughs> Mos Espa. Yeah, Mos Espa, which is like Space, Utah. Right, they're like we know we're married, <laughs> even though the government here doesn't recognize our marriage. I think only gay people are allowed to get married. Does Star Tours exist in your guys' universe? No idea what you're talking about. Okay. No idea the framing of that question. But yeah, of course, Star Tours. Exists. Could you take a tour around the stars? Yeah. Great. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> you're using a lot of very weird lingo throughout this. I'm episode. just trying to understand what you guys believe in. Yeah, he's trying to understand like the limits of our uh, of our, perspective. Of our knowledge. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe that Lord Zeno. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he piled people in their C5s on top of a volcano. Yeah. And then the Thetans were released. But they don't say yeah. that to you in the Dianetics. They just sort of say, like, how are you feeling? Like It's you know. uh, shitty Freudian therapy. Interesting. But for five hours. So but so you talk about yourself or do they ask yeah, you questions? Yeah, they ask you questions. And, and you then love they ask therapy. you the same questions. Yes. Right. And they're trying yes, to basically yeah. get at, like, the core. It's kind of like one of those uh, online personality tests. Uh, yeah, but it's intense. Like, you have to do it all first person. Your eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed. You don't. And you're hooked up to something. You're hooked up to the can. You're holding the can. They walk. They talk. It's very strange. Like, <laughs> they did a. And this costs uh, money. Yeah, it costs $125 for five hours of mm-hmm. auditing, which is great. That's, That's a, a good, good deal. Price. That's, That's a Costco deal. therapy. But then yeah. they upsell Level, you. level right, two yeah. is like 30 grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you like therapy so much. I, I once ran into you were selling your it's ticket. It's not therapy. It's Dianetics, right? Okay. They don't yeah. like but, therapy. But my point is you like therapy. You uh-huh. are such a fan of therapy. Oh, I see. You therapy. like just therapy. Yeah. I like, yes. I, I ran into you outside the 92nd Street Y. Mm-hmm. Elaine May was publicly screening Ishtar. That's mm-hmm. right. It had not been released on yeah, Blu-ray or DVD too. at that point. Yeah. Yeah, she was speaking after the movie. It right. was the director's cut being screened for the first time. Yeah. You love Elaine May. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. And you were like, I'm selling my ticket because I got therapy. Yeah. Right. That's how important it is. Yeah. Like, you didn't want to miss one session. Right. So Scientology is going, hey, for $125, you can have five hours of sitting down and talking to us. Right. That's like very yeah, alluring. Yeah, but it's to with you. like the most unqualified kid in his in his dad's <laughs> yeah, suit. You know, like what's well, yeah. a cost? Yeah. Sometimes you're not reading buying the like best Battlefield quality. Earth and using yeah. that as yeah. his like, I mean, template. I will say it was fun though because like it's kind of hypnosis. First of all, they go, right. "It's not hypnosis." Right. Now close your eyes. I'm going to count backwards <laughs> to ten, and then and then you, they're like, "So tell me about when your dog died." You know, and you like close your eyes and you're like, "All right, so." Uh, I'm walking down a hallway. Interesting. I see this. Yeah. This is what I see. And then they go, great. So take me back again, and we're going to start from the top and try to collect any additional data that you can collect. And it's, like, very calming. Mm, and then you do it again. Cool. And then three hours later, you're like, I, I've said it all. But there's this weird moment where you kind of break through, and you're like, I feel like I'm there. Like, it's a, it's a weird hypnosis thing. It's totally not. They call it exteriorization. It's not real. But it's cool. It was fun. I wouldn't suggest going, though, because they call me every day, and I block all their numbers, and they keep getting new numbers. And then the Holy other day, shit. I opened an envelope, and it had a letter in it to me. I get a ton of their, like, yeah. you know, come to the flagship, you right. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I got a letter, and I opened it up, and it just said, Dear Morgan, would you like more Dianetic auditing? That's it. That's it. The That's whole all letter. the letters. That's pretty creepy. Wasn't signed by anybody? Yeah. But what if it was you... like, from the dr- okay. executive... What director happens, Hunter, Joseph, what happens yeah. if you just say, like... What about all that shit with Tom Cruise? Is that for real? Like, or like Zeno? Zeno? Like, like, would yeah. they just talk over you? They or? go like, yeah. they literally go like, well, I'm like a smart guy. You think I believe in aliens? 
Wait, so you asked them about that yeah. stuff? Yeah. That's I, what they I say went to into you. it totally like. They but, go like, okay. come on, do you think but I believe in aliens? Yeah. Like, Would I be doing this if it was about aliens? But alien? isn't that right. what they yeah. say? And then at a certain point, they, yeah. they, they, it just reverses. They think it makes at that you point, when you're like 15 know. years in. And 1,500 yeah. yeah. grand. In. Well, I was like, they were like, do you think I believe in aliens? I'm like, no, but I know enough to the, that you guys think it causes pneumonia if someone knows <laughs> who yeah. hasn't had all the training up until that point. Yeah. And he's like, I honestly don't know what you're talking about, man. But like, it's how like, well, just read this book? This you should thing, read this how book. How deep is he? He's not that deep. He's probably. been in it since the '60s. The guy who brought me in. What? Whoa, yeah, he, he's was crazy. he raised in it, or is no, an old he, man? He like saw Dianetics being sold on the street, and like appreciates. He was what he was telling me is like there's Scientology, and then there's Dianetics. Sure, and Dianetics. Right. Is dianetics the is like the therapy right. shit, right? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then so that's Scientology is the there. space opera, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was like, you don't seem like you need communication skills. You know, because they were like, what are you here? Do you need right. help right. with do you work? Right. Do you right. need whatever? Right. What, what, like, we, what can we pray upon? I was like, yes. I'm fine, you know? And yeah. they were like, oh, okay. Um, we'll do Dianetics then because it's like therapy. Very weird. But they don't. They hate therapy. So they don't yeah. Of course, they don't call it that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tom Cruise will be our guest next week. Yeah. yeah thanks for having me. Guest. Oh, please. About, thank you so much for doing the show. What if Tom Cruise was our guest? What does Tom Cruise think of the Star Wars movies? We should ask. I'm sure he'd just say he likes them. Yeah, he'd be like, great. <laughs> I, have his, awesome. I have his number. Yeah. I can call him. <laughs> he would shake so much that his headphones would fall <laughs> off of his ears. He's a positive man. I'm really excited for Rogue Nation, though. Yeah, it looks rad. I think Rogue Nation Rogue Nation's going to be fantastic. It looks yeah, super cool. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's crazy to me that he actually hung onto that plane. Eight times. Nuts. Eight times they did that so stunt. Cool. Uh, famed blogger Jeffrey Wells posted a thing yesterday where he was like, wait, Tom Cruise was chained into that plane? Big deal. Like he was like, I thought the whole appeal of the stunt was that he was just holding he on with his hands. Actually holding oh my on. God, no way! Because they're using this advertising thing of like he really did it. Yeah, it's not CGI. Yeah, of course he, he actually really shit? did that's, it. That's great. Jeff Wells is like, oh, if he was chained in, it's not that impressive. Can you imagine if a bug hit your face while you were going that, was that the fast? Point. At that it's speed, like still dangerous. They had to yeah. give him glass, like like fucking contact lenses, right. uh-huh. so that his Protect eyes his weren't eyes. destroyed, like oh didn't fly out of his head. And he's like, well, if there were chains attached, it's not that impressive. Oh Jeffrey Wells, what a shit noted. Poop sucker Jeffrey Wells. <laughs> we, Does that Jeffrey mean he Wells sucks is, on poo. Yeah, he sucks yeah. on poo. Jeffrey Wells will be our guest next week. Well, yeah, Jeffrey Wells and Tom Cruise will yeah. be our two guests next week. And L. Ron Hubbard. And L. Ron Hubbard. Morgan, thank you so much for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, anything you want to plug, Morgan? You have a new, you have a web series. Uh, yeah, um, well, I'm in an episode. Griffin's, Griffin's in an, an episode. episode. I'm not in any episode. A little Sims is in no. A little episode. embarrassing. If you go to untitled.mtv.com, uh, you can watch that. And my Twitter is at totally Morgan. Without spoiling anything, if you, if you like uh, romance as seen in Star Wars Attack of the Clones, you might like the episode we have together. It's a lot like that. It's a lot like that. Yeah. Similar levels of chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Palpable sexual heat. It's great. Um, and you're moving to LA next week, and so uh, yeah. we'll promote Scientology, plug Scientology. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when, does this, when will this come out? This will come out next Monday. week. You'll oh, be okay. in LA by the time, right? Yeah. Yes. When are you moving? Uh, I'm moving August 1st. I'm going to drive oh, across so the look. country. Okay. You're, re- yeah. you're doing the drive. I am, nice. yeah. I'm oh. excited. I'm going to get rid of everything I have that won't fit in a car and do the drive. Nice. Crazy. Yeah, and I'm going to write a book. I'm not. I'm not no, well, just you, you'll have a lot of. Uh... Well, when you write that book, you can come back on and plug the book. Yeah, it'll be called On the Road. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Just, I, I recommend Attack of the Road. Trying to <laughs> Attack of the Road. <laughs> it's a factory that makes roads. Roads building roads. <laughs> but now I've seen everything. Uh, uh, producer Ben, final thoughts? How are those uh, tits you were looking at earlier? Yeah, <laughs> at one point in the podcast, I noticed a bunch of tits. That was a pop up, but uh, <laughs> I was I I did you I click no, the link for that pop up? No, I did not. Well, okay. how do you get a porn pop up these days? Well, when that you is search, very true. when I you search on since I was like random years old. Star Wars websites, <laughs> that's, that's trying to look up a yeah, yeah. PO joke. Well, that's kids no. on there, so they kids. they might pop ups are for kids. Are for kids. Yep. Are for kids. <laughs> They're like Jar Jar. Yep. Misa in the scene now. Final thoughts: Bug Planet's kind of cool. I don't know. So you kind of like this part of the movie. Yeah, it was all right with Ben, it. ben confessed to me before we started recording that he barely remembers the movie at this point. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's slippery. As we've said, it's a slippery I'm, fucking movie. It's like F5, and I'm really just checking out. It's okay. Yeah. There's only five more of these to go. We're at the halfway mark. Right. And then we're going to do one last Google search to make sure there's no other Star Wars uh, Ben movies. is taking a, a yeah, knife and slitting his wrist the long is. ways. Ben is uh, flashing back to some Dianetics that he had earlier. Yep. Yep. Past lives and mm-hmm. all that. All yep. right. 
Well, that's it for me. And our our question that we've been <laughs> that we've been very specifically answering every episode is this a good sequel? Oh yeah, we really we've been hitting that note hard every week. This third act stuff is it a good sequel? Well, no. in that it doesn't build off of anything set up in Phantom Menace. <laughs> it does perfectly set up a third movie. It, it's a good, I guess so. So it's but a that, good sequel know, in that it sets up right, a good sequel. I guess so. It sets up a war. That sounds like a great. Sequel. Can I say why I, I like it so. as a sequel? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I think that. It, maybe it's not a good traditional sequel. Sure. Okay. But to cut forward in time, ten years, uh-huh. it's Absolutely. very original choice. Sure. I think it's great. If I think it's a, I think it's another movie in the same universe, sort of part of Definitely. an anthology. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's a cool way to do it. I think there's a lot in between that you could say make a television show out of that you yeah, could do maybe whatever like on with. The Cartoon Network or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, right, you make the movies focused on the wars, and you make the cartoon shows focused on the stuff that happens in between. Yeah, those, right? the sort of adventures. Uh, Obi Wan and Anakin. Yeah. yeah. Now, training. had they made a but, third but, one, but definitely I, we yeah. agree that the wars should constitute a film, right? All basic logic says that if you set up a fucking war, that then you should put that in a movie <laughs> rather than a fucking cartoon show. I think we get it, Griffin. Hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe. Probably. God. Fucking terrible movie. <laughs> I think uh, if it just came out alone and there were no other Star Wars that movies, would be special. I would be like, this is amazing. This is a lot of imagination. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is yeah. great. Yeah. I don't know why the, the green guy is suddenly jumping around or the, who he's supposed yeah, to be, the but guy this is great. Who made American Graffiti <laughs> made this. <laughs> he took 25 years <laughs> off and then made this movie. Uh, well, uh, thank you all for listening. Yep. Uh, thank you for being here, Morgan. Thank Thanks, you. Morgan. Thanks uh, for having me. Thank yeah. you for tolerating this, Ben. Sure, no problem. Uh, and as always, keep those negotiations aggressive. And don't give Scientology any of your money. <laughs> for real. Don't do it. <laughs>